finally tonight, the Bob Marley recordings that went undiscovered in a damp basement for 40 years and how a rubbish collector saved them from the scrap heap. The tapes are the original recordings of his concerts in London and Paris in the 1970s. They were found when a rundown hotel in Kensal Rise was being refurbished. Now they've been lovingly restored. Lucrezia Mellorini went to hear the results. Bob Marley and the Whalers performing at the Rainbow in Finsbury Park in 1977. There aren't that many live recordings of the legendary singer, but now a chance discovery of original analog master tapes in a hotel in London are getting fans excited. I think everybody likes it. It's a, it's a happy beat. Bob Marley fan Joe Gatt was handed the tapes by a rubbish collector. They were in poor condition, but along with his business partner, Louis Hoover, he knew he had to restore them. To be honest, we didn't expect much. We thought we were going to get bits and pieces here and there. Yeah. But when, when we went to the studio and when he put the faders up, Martin, wow, couldn't believe it. The hair at the back of our necks is, is amazing. The tapes were stored in cardboard boxes like this one, inside original handwritten labels and track listings. Where was this recorded? Uh, this was at the Lyceum, 1975. And remarkably, Joe was actually one of the fans in the crowd back then. It's coincidental, but it's also a miracle that, you know, I, it had to be somebody who, who, who was there, which is what made me even more want to... Yeah. You know, save them. No he may have been one of Jamaica's favourite sons, but gigs like this one at the Rainbow made London like a second home to Bob Marley. I think I was 19. I blagged my way into his hotel room after <laughs> seeing him play at the Lyceum in London. Music producer and broadcaster Don Letts first met the singer here in the 1970s. Bob's love for London, well, I know he loved football, but I think the thing that really turned him on was that he had a receptive audience. And that was people like me, a lost tribe, that were looking for messages, looking for some kind of identity. How would Bob have felt about these tapes being found now? I think because of the cyclic nature of man's mistakes and the timelessness of emotions, he would have said, hey, he was always right on time. Bob Marley would have turned 72 today, but his popularity has never waned from the footage of this London gig 40 years ago to the discovery of these tapes, further cementing his place in this city's musical heritage. Lucrezia Mullerini, ITV News. Before we go, if you're an Ed Sheeran fan, here is a date for your diary not to miss. He announced on Twitter today that he's playing at the Brits on February the 22nd at the O2 Arena. To see who else is playing and find out how you can vote for the British...